Happy St. Patrick's Day, kids. Um, had to get us in the mood with some good music. Um, and now on to the On This Day. Um, so on this day in history, St. Patrick dies in 461 CE. Okay, so St. Patrick um, was a Christian missionary, a bishop, an apostle of Ireland, um, largely popular, or uh, excuse me, not popular, that's the wrong word, uh, Catholic Church. This would have been, he would have been a member of the Catholic Church. Um, and remember, I know you're not in seventh grade, but remember I taught seventh grade last year, and one thing that I make sure my students know is that the Catholic Church is one of the most important things in medieval Europe, so hence why a lot of the patron saints that we know of come from this time period. Moving on, most of what we know of St. Patrick comes from what's called the Confessio. Um, he was born in Great Britain um, and was captured and enslaved at the age of 16 by Irish marauders, and a marauder is like as a raider, um, someone who raids uh, regions. Um, and he worked for six years um, as a herder in Ireland. Um, he turned to deep religious faith for comfort during this time and then eventually escaped because it said that he heard voices and that led him um, to leaving uh, where he was. So he heard the voice again eventually um, during his lifetime and was called um, back to serve in Ireland. Um, and then he arrived in Ireland in 433 CE and began preaching the gospel, which is a part of the Christian Bible. And then he converted thousands of Irish um, to Catholicism. Um, he built churches around the country, uh, very well known and important in the Irish uh, community. And then he worked for 40 years um, and died uh, where he built his first church um, in, Sal in Saul. So um, really important dude, as you can see in the stained glass um, rendition of him, there is the green, which usually um, relates to the green scenery of Ireland. Um, and then he has a little clover in his hand. So now we got to talk about some legends, okay? Um, so he was made the patron, patron saint of Ireland. Um, he used the famous shamrock. Uh, to describe the Holy Trinity, which is another key part of Catholicism. Um, kind of the idea of there being three different things. And so a shamrock kind of can embody that shape. Um, it's off, he's often depicted trampling snakes um, and is said to have driven the reptiles out of Ireland. Um, that would have been a compelling thing to see as a Catholic because often um, in the Christian Bible and Catholicism, um, evil is depicted as a snake. Um, his death is celebrated in Ireland as a religious holiday. And then around the world, we like to commercialize holidays and make money off of them. And so that's a large reason why um, St. Patrick's Day kind of has blown up into what it is today. Um, the first St. Patrick's Day parade took place in the U.S., not Ireland. And um, we kind of saw this with Mardi Gras as well. It starts as these religious um, kind of expressions, and then it grows or changes from there. Um, but the Irish were serving in the British military and marched through New York City in 1762. So this was just before uh, re the Revolutionary War. Um, and then it was a way to show unity and strength uh, strength for persecuted Irish American immigrants. So remember, America is a land of immigrants. And for those immigrants to get to kind of share uh, through a parade or some sort of unity, what's important to them is something that is really cool. And it, it's cool that we still celebrate this. But I also think it's important for you to understand why things happen. So Hopefully you are wearing green today. Um, your parents will be getting an email pretty soon from me kind of detailing what the next couple weeks will look like if we don't have school. Uh, I have a couple things up my sleeve, so hopefully we get to at least talk and communicate with one another because I am going to not enjoy not seeing you guys, and hopefully you will feel the same about not seeing me. Uh, we'll talk soon. Kids, be good.